What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got the oxtail soup homemade by Mama Tiger. We got some <clears throat> kimchi. Ooh. Spilt. Got some nice homemade side dishes here. You can see uh, there's a little anchovies, lettuce and broccoli. We got some dried uh, squid and uh, egg with spam, carrots, and uh, green onions put together. Take a closer look at that. But the main one is the oxtail soup here. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. I don't want to tip it over. Oxtail soup, homemade. It's been cooking for about four, five, six hours. I have no idea. But look at this oxtail. Let me get closer for you guys. You guys gotta look. Check it out. Oxtail there. Oh yeah. It some noodles. We got some noodles. We got some rice. The bomb. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I like to do. Kimchi to pour it in. Boom. That's how we eat. <clears throat> Today I also want to talk about the virus going around. It's getting real. It's getting serious. You guys all know, although for those of you that don't know, um, we are in U USA and we live in Washington State. There's been um, coronavirus going around in Washington State. It's the first cases in basically in the U.S. and um, had the first death in the U.S. too and now it's up to six. And it's just the beginning, in my opinion. So, first, uh, you know, prayers for the lost family. Um, uh, you know, sorry for your loss. But for the rest of the people out there, the citizens, you guys got to be uh, careful. You got to be healthy. You got to, if you have any kind of uh, medical conditions, Especially with lungs, don't go outside. Stay away from people, stay home. Um, but if you're healthy, you can still get it too. It just doesn't hit you as hard, but you still don't want to get it. So, um, you know, wash your hands a lot. Don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth. Uh, probably don't shake hands. It's, it's, it's going to it's gonna go crazy, you know. Um, I don't know what's going to happen yet. It's just Monday, so I don't know if they're gonna start shutting down people not going to work anymore, shutting down schools. Some schools are already shut down, but like overall, like statewide or citywide, it's, it's this is a real deal, you know. Um, and if you if you get stuck at home, you're gonna have stuff that you need. You know, you need, you know, food. You need medicine if you get sick just in case you know what else you need you need like i don't know shoot your family love everybody let me take a first bite though so i'm sure most of you guys i'm not in i'm not in washington state so you're not thinking that anything's everything's gonna be okay but this is just the beginning it's gonna it's gonna start spreading gonna start spreading mm. and eating healthy is key too because what you eat what you put in your body is what makes your body what it is so if you put healthy stuff in your body you're gonna have a healthy body, right? You keep eating that junk, no good. Mm. Homemade stuff. <clears throat> and try to make your stuff at home too, because <clears throat> there's nothing better than a 
lovely home cooked meal. Mm. That's the tail. I'm already worried about the kids. The thing is that um, there hasn't been any young children that's um, been infected by the coronavirus, so it kind of gives me the relief, but I'm still worried about the kids. Can you believe all the meat on the cow's tail? Mm -hmm. Scrape all the collagen off. You want to know, see what tail looks like? Tailbone, there it is. Ox, tailbone. <clears throat> Noodles. Watch your health, man. Now, if it goes real crazy, you gotta prepare. You gotta get a lot of dry food, a lot of canned food. I mean, at least be able to stay at home for like a month and be able to survive. <clears throat> Prepare for like, prepare for like, you know, um, if you would have a power outage, what would you do? How would you live? How would you take care of yourself? And the reason I say power outage is, if you, if you can survive with power outage, for a month, you can definitely survive this because you're gonna have power. One main thing about power, you got a refrigerator. If you got a refrigerator, freezer, you should be able to live a long time at home. <clears throat> this is no joke. <clears throat> Don't take it lightly. Buy oxtail, cook some too. Have a big ass pot of soup and just need rice and noodle. <clears throat> I haven't even tried these yet. Mm, homemade. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. It's rich in calcium. Look good.
Tomorrow, there's going to be more casualties. It's all elderly people, though, with already a uh, medical condition. So I said, if you got <clears throat> like lung, weak lungs, or whatever, stay home. You can't fight this. It's just like the flu, basically. I mean, we, we, we don't. Some of us take the flu lightly. We just hear about it all the time. People get it. Just don't hear about how many people die from it. I'm just gonna put this in. <clears throat> Mix it all up. Gotta be healthy. Eat it all. Eat it all. Eat it all. Remember, you gotta be healthy. In these um, crazy times going on in the world with the virus and whatever is going on in your life, take care of yourself. Do the things that's gonna help you. Prepare, wash your hands, don't get sick. Care about all you guys. And uh, be praying for everybody. So, uh, always remember. Always believe in yourself. Never give up on your dreams. And you can do anything with God. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace out.